Uh, finally, thanks, Ada. Finally, uh, ask Steve Waldridge to come up and talk. Uh, Steve's the alumni and development manager for the faculty, uh, and he's going to talk just a little bit about the large range of scholarships that we have in engineering at UNSW. Thanks, everyone. Well, um, welcome here tonight. I just a real brief about the scholarships uh, in the Faculty of Engineering, and then secondly, how you go about applying for those. Well, in the Faculty, we're very proud. We've got 35 scholarships uh, on offer for 2013, which is the highest number of any faculty here at UNSW. Um, being a scholarship holder is very prestigious. You're a member of a, an elite group. Um, you get invitations to different uh, networking events. Uh, as spoken, there's a lot of opportunity for industrial placements with partners, and probably most importantly for the parents here tonight, um, they're valued anywhere from $1,500 to $17,000, typically on average about $10,000 a year over the term of your degree, so they go a long way to assisting the students and the parents. We've got a, a vast range of scholarships here, um, ranging from the Co-op Scholarship Program, which has been mentioned, um, scholarships with Roads and Maritime, uh, NICTA Research Scholarships, scholarships specifically for rural students, Indigenous students and for female students. Um, and a lot, of, um, a lot of the industry placed scholarships do have paid industrial training parts to them, not all of them, but a lot of the um, industry do pay you for your time over the summer breaks. There's a bit of a brief on the co-op program which, which we've mentioned. If you were uh, unsuccessful on getting a first year school leaver scholarship, there are a lot of scholarships also available for second year and, and third and fourth year students. Um, and there's um, a bit of a, a brief on some of the companies and um, other schools where they're on offer. Briefly, the, the application process for scholarships. Um, there's the website there, um, www.scholarshipsunsw.edu.au, or you can go to our main university website. Um, second from the bottom left down there, click on scholarships. I know we're running a little bit late behind time here, so I'm just going to go through this quite quickly. You will need to uh, go to the high school leaver section. Um, there's some information there on how you can search on different type of scholarships that you would be eligible for. Oops. You'll need to apologies. You'll need to log in uh, and get a and get a login. And once you have that, you can set yourself up and apply for as many scholarships that you're eligible for. So. You'll, you'll log in, it'll send you an email um, verifying um, that you're set up in the system, and then you can go through that process and, and apply for as many scholarships as you're eligible for, and you'll receive confirmation emails every time those applications go through. That basically summarises um, what I've just said there. The other scholarships on offer, um, you can find uh, the EAS and equity scholarships on the UAC website. Um, so please check that out also. They're outside the university, but um, have a look at those. And finally, don't forget that the applications are open now, um, even pending your, your offers and uh, your you know, time here at UNSW, they are open, so please, they close on the 30th of September. Um, get online, ask questions of the ambassadors. They have iPads here, so they can specifically um, look at eligibility for individuals and, and show you what's on offer. So thanks very much for your time. Uh, good luck with getting in here at UNSW, and have a good evening. Okay, so I'd like now to just thank all the speakers who've contributed, and thanks very much for listening. But in particular, I'd like to thank Paul and Sadea and Stuart for coming along and helping us out this evening. Yes, feel free.